hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this video we will learn about composer that means how to create a registration form using composer and what is composer first of all composer is one of the ide ide stands for integrated development environment which allows you to create static and dynamic web pages Earlier we were creating HTML web pages using Notepad and any of the browser. In Notepad we will be writing the code and in the browser we will be running that particular HTML file to see the output and to see how it works. Now Composer is one of the IDE which allows you to create a web page. As you can see on the screen, this is the user interface of the Composer. Now, the main difference between Composer and the Notepad is, in Notepad, we have to write down each and every code. Whereas, in Composer, we can use the different menus and different options available and easily we can create a web page. That is the main benefit of using an IDE. Now this is the user interface of the composer. Here you will have the title bar, the menu bar, the composition toolbar, then format toolbar 1, format toolbar 2. This is the site manager panel. It will be used to upload and download the web pages and this is your workspace here you have to design your web page and you will have four tabs down the screen that is normal html tags source and the preview right now we are in the normal tag tab here we can design a web page as you will move in the html tags it will also allow you to design your web page as well as it will display the tag in which you are currently working here you can see the body this is the body tag of html we are working right now then the next tab will be the source here you can see the source of your html web page that we were writing in the notepad we were typing in the notepad but in composer we just need to design the web page and the composer will automatically write down the code for that and next one is the preview here in preview you can see the output or the layout of your web page now let's see how to create our registration form using composer go to the normal tab there are two ways to insert a form in a composer first you will have the shortcut form on the composition toolbar or you can go to the insert menu form and then define form and you will get the form properties dialog box here you have to specify the name of your form right now I'm using register here in action URL you have to give the form name with the dot HTML extension register dot HTML in method you have to specify the method which you want to use to pass the data from one page to the other page by default if you will not set the method then by default the composer will consider the method as a get method right now i'm selecting post and then press on ok now you see you can see the dotted line on the screen it means we have successfully created a form if you want to check the source then you can go to the source tab and see here the code for the inserting form is already added now registration form 
I have given the title registration form. After writing it, select the title and from the format toolbar 2 you can edit the title. Suppose I want to place it in the center. From here select the center alignment. Here body, italic and underline options are there. You can select the options based on your choice. From here you can increase or decrease the font size. See like this you can increase or decrease the font size. And with this option you can edit the color of the font. Click on the color and then select color of your choice and see Now I want to add some of the fills in my registration form but I want to arrange them in a particular way. So I will insert a table from the composition toolbar. From here you can select the number of fills you want in your table. See and then you can drag and adjust the size of your table as you will click here you will get the table properties dialog box and from here you can set the cell size or the different options available for the table here i will write down the first will be the first i will change the color from here then user name now how to insert a text box to insert a text box you have to use the insert menu go to the insert menu form form field from here you have to select text here specify the name for your text box it is txt user name if you want to specify the initial value for your text box then you can specify it here otherwise click on ok and like this you can add a text box in your phone the next as you will press on a tab button you will get a new row then last name again go to the insert form form field select here text specify the field name here txt l name and press on ok then mobile number and to insert a text box go to the insert menu form form field select a text field type here write down the field name txtmno and then ok see you can use any of the field name as per your choice but make sure you are using the field name that is relevant to your field so in future it will be it will be easy for you to identify the field whenever you are working for the code in the web page then pin code again Add a text box, insert form, form field, txt, pin, and 
ओके नाउ ऐड द एड्रेस फील्ड एड्रेस अगेन इंसर्ट अ टेक्स्ट बॉक्स for address you can use the text area control also that we will see in the next video then gender for gender you have to use the radio buttons form form field then radio button here you have to specify the group name see the group name is the new property of any of the control radio buttons generally work in the group why because it will allow you to select a particular option from the given group you have to select only a one option from the group so the group name must be the same for the same group radio buttons if you will specify the different group names for the radio buttons then user will be able to select all the options and that will lead you to the incorrect data right now i'm using gender as a group name and here in field name i'm using male press on okay and then next to the radio button type here a mail give some space then again insert a new radio button here specify the group name gender here specify the field value female then press on okay here gender now we will add the submit button and the reset button to the form go to the insert menu form form field and from here fit as a field type select submit button specify the button name then in the field value you have to specify the details the name or the text you want to display on your button it is submit press on okay now let's see how to save the form control s here specify the name with which you have saved your form you have created your form press on okay and then specify the location where you want to save your form click on a save button now go to the location and open the form in any of the web browser and this is your registration form i hope this video will be useful for the users or the viewers those are watching thank you